What's going on everybody, David here back with another video. So today we're gonna to talk about options. So we're gonna talk about what we think is gonna happen and I'm gonna put up my three options here and I wanna know what you guys think. So if you guys have options, put them down below and you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to options. So what, what are we looking at when it comes to another stimulus package basically? Uh, what is, what, what's probably gonna happen before the end of the year? And so that's what we're gonna talk about. But first off, you guys can do me a favor, please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification, that way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. All right, so we have our options here and we're gonna go over them. And first, I'll just kinda tell you the different options and then we're gonna go in detail and talk a little bit about them. All right, so our first option here, option number one is approve a full package, a full stimulus package. Now we know the negotiations were going on. It was 1.9 to 2.2 trillion. That was that those were the numbers that we were looking at. And we're talking about when we're talking about this, what are the options before the end of the year? Once the end of the year happens, then now we're looking at a new administration coming in. And so some of this stuff could change. All right. Option number two, approve a skinny bill. Now we know Mitch McConnell is big on the skinny bill. He tried to get it passed through the Senate twice. It didn't go anywhere. And that's a $500 billion bill. That's without stimulus checks. So maybe they're talking about creating another bill right now. At least Mitch McConnell uh, alluded to this. So you might have another skinny bill, but it's just a little bit more, maybe $700 billion or $800 billion, and it includes stimulus uh, checks. So we don't know yet. We don't know what they're going to do with that. They haven't mentioned anything. When they do come back from recess, maybe they'll have something uh, for us. Option number three do nothing. Okay. And that, that is an option. So th those are the options that we're looking at. And let, let's talk a little bit about these different options right now. So the first option there is a full package. Now I can't really see this happening. This option for me is, is probably not likely. And the main reason for that is first off, you had Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin doing all the negotiating when it came down to it. And Mitch McConnell wasn't playing a big role when it came down to negotiating. So that would mean, and, and, and we have to look at timelines here, we only have about two more weeks. So when Congress comes back from recess, we have about two more weeks before they're going to go back on recess for, for Christmas break. And so because of that, they're going to have to get all this stuff back on the table and try to figure something out. And having a full package, I just can't see it happening by the end of the year. And although I think most people want a full package because it has stimulus checks and it has a lot of different things that, that people have been asking for for the last seven months, I just don't see it happening before the end of the year. And that's, that's very unfortunate. All right, option number two. So option number two is the skinny bill. Now the skinny bill did not have direct payments, no stimulus checks in, this, in the skinny bill. And, it, and it, it didn't have a lot of other things either. It had some enhanced unemployment. It had a few other things. Uh, but for the the average person, it had money for the PPP program for small businesses and, and things like that. Uh, but for the average person, it didn't have much. So the skinny bill, Mitch McConnell already tried it twice. Will he try it a third time? Probably not. I don't see him doing that. Uh, the only way that I can see him doing it again is if they add some things to it, especially if they add like if they add stimulus checks to a skinny bill, it might have enough votes to get to get passed but we'll have to see what they do with this with this skinny bill uh, that they're they're talking about uh doing uh i do agree that we need to have uh, they need to revamp a bill so you can't have it the heroes act anymore you have to revamp it you can put some of the same things in it but the heroes act's already been tainted so just by you saying heroes act you're going to have people that are automatically going to say no but if you create a whole new bill then it would be easier to get through Congress. And that's how Congress works. They don't want to be the one that says, oh, you voted yes for the HEROES Act. They don't want to be that politician. And just because of the name, not because of what's in it, but just because of the name. It's, it's, it's really ridiculous, but that's, that's how they work. So the option number two would be the skinny bill. Will Mitch McConnell put that in front of the Senate? We'll have to see. If he does it a third time and it doesn't go anywhere, it really looks bad on his leadership because he can't get something uh, through the Senate. So will he go at it? I don't know. All right, the third option, option number three, is to do nothing. 
is to do the talking, but do nothing. Just blame the other side. And we've seen this for the last, what, five months? We've seen them blaming each other. Um, actually, six, five to six months, we've seen them blaming each other. So will they just continue to do that? Ride it out to the end of the year and let President-elect Joe Biden deal with it on January 20th. And unfortunately, that's probably what the, what's going to happen. They're probably just going to blame each other. And there's a there's a reason why Mitch McConnell probably won't want to move forward with another stimulus package. Because if he does, he knows he's going to lose half of the Republicans in the Senate. And the reason that I'm saying that is because you still have that 15 to 20 Republican senators that don't want another stimulus package at all. And that number might have increased because now you have some senators who are newly reelected. And so they don't really feel any fear of saying, you know what, I'm not for another stimulus package because they're already getting reelected. So they're not going to have to run again for another six years. So why... I mean, if they have an opinion about a stimu the stimulus package, they can let it be known now because they've already been reelected. So you might, that number might increase. So you have 15 to 20 Republican senators that do not want another stimulus package. So do you think Mitch McConnell will step out and say, okay, let's, let's go with another stimulus package before the end of the year because there's an important election, an important election that's going to be happening in Georgia. He doesn't want to have that divide. He doesn't want to have some Republicans saying no stimulus and then other Republicans saying yes for stimulus. That's a divide. He doesn't want to have that right before this Georgia election. And so he might not want to do anything until after this election. So we're talking January 5th. Until after January 5th, he might not want to do anything because if he does and it splits the Republican Party and you have part of the Republican Party upset that he's bringing this to the floor, bringing this stimulus uh, package to the floor, well, then that's a whole nother problem for Mitch McConnell. And ultimately, at this point, Mitch McConnell wants to continue to be the majority leader. And the only way that he can continue being the majority leader is if they win at least one of those seats in Georgia. And so that's where we are when it comes to the options. Now, I'm sure I might have missed some options. So let me know in the comment section what you think we might see in the next couple months. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.